All right, so I'm going to sit down with Jeff for hopefully no more than five minutes, <laughs> ask him a few questions about uh, why he does CrossFit, first competition, what his diet looks like. Um, the reason I picked Jeff first because he's been successful in competition, but whenever he started, was it four years ago? Close to four, 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 four maybe five, maybe Close five. To, I don't remember now. It was four or five. Maybe mm -hmm. five years ago ish, he started with zero intentions of competing, and he's taken it and been very successful in competing. And I feel like a lot of the members we have now and current members don't see or know that side. So I kind of wanted to pick it that way. Um, so why did you start doing CrossFit? Um, several reasons. Um, I want to be the greatest athlete in the world. <laughs> um, Working on it. Um, first of all, my, I have a pretty substantial family history of cardiovascular disease. My father died early of a heart attack. My mother's brother died early of a heart attack. Um, my grandfather had issues too, so that was a big thing. And I actually, despite working out and trying to eat relatively healthy, have high cholesterol and actually take low-dose cholesterol medicine. So, um, so being fit, cardiovascular sense, keeping that is, is probably the biggest, you know, biggest reason. But I've always been someone who worked out. Um, but even before CrossFit, I was doing the insanities, the P90X, that sort of stuff. And it, it was fun, and I enjoyed it. But, you know, CrossFit's a whole different animal, which I, it kind of, once I started, it kind of... Uh, kind of got me rolling, so that was probably the main reason, though. Mm -hmm. um, just all in I want to ask, did CrossFit help lower the dosage of the cholesterol and acid? Or no, I don't know. I'm, you're the doctor. Um, it did. Actually, it brought my numbers down a good bit. I still take the medicine, but my numbers did come down substantially after trying. I mean, I was, like I said, I wasn't totally out of shape when I started CrossFit. I was doing some things, but this, you know, I, I'm, I'm 40, in my low 40s now, probably the best shape of my life doing this sort of stuff. So, but I mean, it did, it did bring it down in some way, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Um, so, we'll say probably, we have time frame we don't know, four years ago probably you did your first competition, mm -hmm. right? And yeah, it was, it was, yeah, for, first competition, um, I think it was, I think, it, I'd only been doing CrossFit for five or six months. Um, yeah, I think that's when I did it. And it was a team competition in Charlotte. We took a group of 10 people down. And it was it RX or not RX? I did not do RX my first competition. That and was, did it was you scale. think you were going to do well at that competition? Did not. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Paul and I won the, <laughs> won the scale division down in Charlotte. So. Significantly, I think. Yeah, we, you, they, we did pretty well. They did well. Uh -huh. So it doesn't... It, it took a long time, four years, to go from RX to back-to-back -back Granite Games qualifier, back-to-back mm -hmm. -back online regionals qualifier, and improving slowly in both of those mm -hmm. events. Yep, absolutely. I, I, even even though my age is going up, my you know I've been, as far as my placements in this thing has been going down, actually getting a little bit better as far as those sort of things. So, so you're improved. competing against the same age group, mm -hmm. same people at the same age, the and part. you're getting, you're moving up compared to them. Yep, it's getting, some, some aspects yes, some aspects no, but yeah, right. I'm, in general I'm moving up somewhat. So. Um, and Next thing I feel a lot of people take for granted and me personally don't educate people enough on is what do you eat? <laughs> um, Skittles for breakfast, you do. I'm just kidding. What do you eat whenever you're at home and you can focus on that? Like, what is your... Um, I'll, I'll go through a typical day. Um, in the morning, I get up, probably have a banana. Um, um, Usually have some sort of a, a bar, uh, various types of you know, protein supplement bars, that sort of thing. Um, and typically in the morning, what I do um, during the day while I'm work at work, I'll um, I have stashes of nuts and seeds and you know, little things like that. Um, I have a little refrigerator in my office. I keep I'll keep some vegetables, carrots, that sort of stuff, and I just kind of munch through the day. Lunch um, lunchtime, I typically I'll same sort of thing. I'll, I'll get a bar out every now and then um, if we at my office if somebody brings a lunch and I'll have some if there's chicken or salad there I'll eat that um, dinner um, typically you know fish chicken turkey sometimes red meat um, but I guess for the most part I, I don't follow strict paleo or that sort of thing but I'm I definitely live in my starts I hardly eat any bread or pasta and that's just you know, if I'm on vacation something like that um, yeah. I do occasionally eat a bowl of cereal in the evening. That's because I've done that since I was two years old. And that's just something that is habitual to me. So um, I uh, 
do still drink some milk, some dairy, not too much. Um, but like I said, I'm mostly uh, fruits, vegetables. Um, I do eat you know, nuts and seeds, that sort of thing. Meat, like I said, I do eat chicken, fish, some red meat. Try to limit the red meat because uh, maybe health, 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 health reasons with the cholesterol sort of stuff. Um, so that's primarily it. As far as drinking, I'm 90% of what I drink is water. Um, I probably, in the morning, I do have a, I, I will say I do sometimes have some green tea in the morning. I don't drink coffee. You know, a lot of people do drink coffee. I just don't like it. Um, that's pretty much what I, I graze through the day mainly and, for, and, and then pretty much eat a pretty solid meal in the evening. So, yeah. And it's typically paleo minus some of the dairy. Yeah, but that's, yeah, I'm not that's, all, that's all somebody's. Yeah, my, I'm actually, I'm afraid if I did strict paleo, I would probably lose some weight. I've tried actually, from a yeah, cross but, sense, I'm probably kind of light. But yeah, right. Yeah. Um, and so... I didn't hear anything about supplements. Do you take or base your performance off of supplements? No, um, I don't. You take, I don't. You know, strictly have to have to have these supplements every day. I do not. Um, like I said, as far as what I, like I said, I take that cholesterol medicine. I do take a multivitamin daily. I take fish oil for various reasons. There's, there's cardiovascular advantages to that. Um, getting older, I have been starting to take chondroitin. That's just again just for joint issues. Um, but as far as you know, as far as a strict other supplements, not not too much. I don't do the. Uh, very rarely have I ever tried any of the pre wad sort of things that you do before a workout. They just get me my heart rate racing too fast before I start. Um, but I do try to if I'm if I do a workout, I'll try to get some sort of some sort of a protein in me right after I eat. But it's nothing specific. I don't base everything on supplements now. Awesome. Um, Next question, um, if there was no competitions, would you still do CrossFit as hard as what you do now? Or, oh, I mean, would you still do CrossFit if there was no competitions? Absolutely, yeah, I think it's something that, the health, the health benefits, like I said, were the primary reason I did CrossFit, it's probably still the primary reason I still do CrossFit. Yes, I love competing. Um, it does give me some motivation to do things, but if I said right now that I'm never going to do a competition again, I'd still be here at the gym tomorrow doing stuff. So, um, because it's just become part of me and part of my life, and I'm not only, like I said, I want to try to live longer for my kids' sake. I don't want to, like I said, my father died very early, and I don't want to have that happen to my boys. So, um, so to stick around, and also I want to give that you. Put, put that on my kids and you know trying to stay healthy eat right work out this sort of stuff is something I want to give that sort of you know to them that that's how you, you to, to work hard to, to stay healthy um, so yeah and, and obviously there's multiple other benefits to CrossFit you know you're, it's, it's a it's a team it's a family up here you know just coming and hanging out with people it's the social atmosphere is the biggest thing like I said when I was doing the insanities and the P90X alone in my living room it was fine but I got bored as hell, so you know now I come here and work out, and you can, you can work out together. You push your says are harder. It's 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 definitely there's multiple other ways that you know, CrossFit's beneficial. So I love it. Um, I'm gonna ask one other thing. This mm -hmm. was not even on here. Mm -hmm. It might be a hard one, or it might not. What was since you started CrossFit? What is your biggest accomplishment? Granite Games back to back, online qualifier back to back for the CrossFit Games, or blood cholesterol of forty? Yeah. Um, I, I know think that's probably a really hard question. It's the, I, I obviously, from a lifestyle standpoint and wanting to live longer, it's, it's the cholesterol thing, obviously. Um, but that turned into mm -hmm. two other awesome benefits of following a diet. And yeah, absolutely. Be mm -hmm. healthy. And mm -hmm. it, yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I, it was, I just thought it was a cool question. Um, and what would you tell somebody that just started CrossFit that comes in and sees your success at the CrossFit Games, or whatever, regionals, whatever, and didn't know these things about, well, I used to follow a steady diet, and it's taken four years, and I've been doing this for six months, and I'm nowhere close. What would you say to somebody like that? I mean, it's just if you, they want to hmm, compete, not they, necessarily wellness. If they want to compete, I mean, it's just stick with it. If, if, if somebody wants to compete and be, you know, it's, like I said, it's the diet, it's the, you know, working out, that sort of thing. Um, you starting out, you, there's a lot of technical things when you're starting with CrossFit, you know, proper snatch, proper clean, you know, how to do a pull-up, how to properly do a squat, how to eventually you know, do muscle-up, those sort of things. So 
it's, it's, the, it's the small thing, it's the fundamentals, it's the technique that, because I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but, you know, technically, my, some of my movements are pretty sound, so that's how I, that's how I worked on it. I was in here, I'd come in before a class and work for 10 minutes on just snatch technique or, or just with, an muscle, empty bar. with an empty bar, yeah, empty bar, PVC, um, come in 10, 15 minutes before class, work on double unders and things like that. So it's, if you definitely want to compete, it's, it's you know, finding your weakness, trying to work on it. Um, and perfecting it, and then obviously pushing yourself through through a workout. Um, so I think you know, and the minority of people that do CrossFit are going to compete. And most, but like I said, like I said, I wouldn't. If I wasn't competing, I wouldn't. I would still do CrossFit. Maybe not as hard, but I would definitely do it you know, four to five times a week. Um, but I think it's it's definitely it's definitely for anybody. So awesome. And uh, so summing it up, it sounds to me like, and you can clarify, it's more. The process of being healthy and getting in shape mm -hmm. is what got you mm -hmm. not stopping and having bad days and going on vacations and eating mm -hmm. some kind of good food mm -hmm. from here and there mm -hmm. and getting right back on track as soon as you get back. The yeah. process of all of those things, living a life, mm -hmm. being healthy, turned into mm -hmm. these other accomplishments. I think it's true. Yeah, I think it's um, yeah, it's kind of fed into itself. It became part of my lifestyle, part of who I am. Like I said, it. The, 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 com the competitions are kind of a bonus, I think. I mean, I just, I enjoy it. I feel like I enjoy competing against other people. I enjoy traveling places, that sort of thing. But the bottom line is, it's just, it's good for me. It's healthy. It's, it's helped me, you know, become healthier. And I think that's just the, the, the main thing for a, probably anybody who wants to do CrossFit. I think that's the biggest thing, so. Cool deal. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we went over five minutes. So, but that's good. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I hit record.